All right, here we go. And that's a little bit better. Oh, <laughs> his brain just went out of his head. What's going on guys? Dre here and today we're going to crash many vehicles and destroy many things because we're playing another sandbox. Now this one is called Al Gadoo. Now Al Gadoo is a little bit of an older one. It's actually around 10 years old and I never knew about this thing. I was actually randomly watching my buddy Neological uh, and he was playing this game and it kind of blew me away. I don't know how I've never saw this one, uh, but yeah, sometimes you just miss one. So yeah, I want to thank Neological for enlightening me with this game. If you guys don't know who he is, he does a lot of soft-bodied physics uh, vehicle games or just driving games in general. Uh, so if that's kind of your stuff, I'll have a link in the description. You can go check him out. Uh, he's a really cool guy. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be playing this game today. Now, there's a bunch of different uh, things you can download in this game. Obviously, it's very heavily modded. Uh, you can be playing with vehicles. You can be playing with guns, for example. Uh, basically, you can create anything you want in this game. And this is one of the most popular levels, so I thought we would start here. Now, this is Bob. Now, Bob has a 640 horsepower tractor, basically. Why, I don't know, but we just have to drive around with Bob. Let's actually see what we're working with here. Uh, so you can zoom all the way out. Obviously, it just has some pretty rough terrain here, uh, and we have a very big engine to play with. So we're going to have to start this thing up. But yes, there's actually a process to start this thing, so all the controls are usually explained on the map. It's very much kind of like Happy Wheels meets BeamNG. That's, that's what I'm getting at with this game. Uh, but yes, the engine requires a manual switch, so let's turn this thing on. Let's actually figure out the controls here. So we actually have uh, up arrow changes the gearing. The accelerator has three different options, so I, I the thing I love about this game is everything is actually manually built, so you can actually see all the parts moving. You can see the uh, flap opening for the engine here, de depending on how much I push down the accelerator, obviously. Uh, that, I guess that's a handbrake? Like, I don't know. It's connected to the brake, though, as you can see. Uh, it's just small details like that that can be destroyed, by the way, that makes games like this absolutely awesome. But yes, we have limitless fuel. I wonder, can we actually refuel this thing? Uh, I'm still very much learning this game, but you can actually control pretty much everything. So do, what, what do we do? We just dra drag this. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, I need to refuel. I don't know how to open this. Oh, come on. There, there we go. Yep. There, now we got some fuel. Poured some out a little bit. Hopefully it's not explosive. All right, so there's the on switch. Let's flick that on, and I, it said we need to pull this wheel, I believe. So there we go. Oh, the pistons. We actually get the, gotta get the pistons going. Uh, do I have to give it gas, maybe? Come on. There we go. Now we started it. Now, unfortunately, this game doesn't have sound. I would love to hear that engine with the four pistons going on. Uh, wow, man, everything just moves. I love this. Anything mechanical inside a game is really, really cool to me. All right, well, I have no idea what I'm doing, but we have it started, so let's... Uh, Put this, oh, did I just stall it? I just stalled it, great, go me. Okay, I got it actually going now. We got a little bit of gas going through. I have it in neutral right now, but I am revving it. So obviously I don't think I revved it before. That's probably the issue I did. We're only gonna keep it at quarter acceleration right now because I, I'm a little worried. I mean, this thing's got 640 horsepower. This is absolutely crazy. We are going to kill ourselves. Easy, buddy. Okay, let's keep changing gears here. Let's go up a little bit. So I, I got the 50% acceleration on now. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. I can't even see where I'm going, so this is fun. By the way, what the hell are we carrying? We got a washing machine, some dumbbells, all the safe stuff when you're going a million miles per hour. Are you okay, dude? Okay, he's starting to fall out. There goes my gas, so hopefully we don't need any of that. Look at the gas, like, flopping around everywhere, and I love that, that you can actually deplete your gas systems. All right, let's keep going. We're, we're at gear six. I have no idea how fast we're going. This thing keeps wobbling. It's hard to see. Looks to be about 100, I think. And amazingly, this thing's still together. I haven't hit myself with any of my load either. Uh, looks like we just lost our load, so we're much lighter now, which is nice. All right, let's try and get this thing full throttle here. We're gonna go, I don't even know if I'm still pressing the gas right now. It's because my, my, my feet are totally off this thing. But I am at the final gear now. And I think, did we make it? Did we survive our journey? Hell yes, we did. Now I wonder, I wanna see how the gas gets depleted. So does it actually use it? I'm seeing we have one down here, obviously. It looks like, did that just reset? So yeah, it looks like er after a while this just gets used. And yes, then another one falls down from the hopper. So there is an actual gas system in this, which is pretty damn cool. Well, that went way better than I expected. 
I mean, we kind of lost our seat, it looks like. We lost our gas can, but we don't need it anymore. We're just, we're just going into the middle of nowhere now. We're actually still going faster and faster. You know what? I think we can put a block in front of us. So let's uh, see how fast this thing goes. I mean, we might go all the way to the 380 here. It's still going up. Look at those pistons going like crazy. This engine, man, it took a lot of beating, and it's still totally fine. This guy's, like, foot is probably slowly uh, being torn off. This is so wrong. But yes, indeed, we're done. We going, we're going 360. We're still even going faster. It might just keep progressively going faster and faster. All right, you know what? Let's uh, try and lighten the load. Never mind! Okay, I was going to try and pull off the trailer. That's what happens. Are you okay? Look at your eyeball. Oh, my God. Okay, clearly he's dead. Uh, so, yeah, I guess don't try and rip off the trailer. All right, and showing just kind of how random this game can be, this is just really pleasing to me. Like I said, I really like uh, mechanical things, and this is designed to separate all these pieces into their correct columns down here. I don't know how it works, but it looks rather complex, so we're going we're gonna to go on this journey together. Uh, I, I don't know if this is interesting to anybody else but me, but yeah, this thing's basically designed... You, you know those coin things that you can buy that separate your coins? I think it's kind of doing that. I can't even keep up with how this thing works. So the little green ones fit in there. The red ones fit in a different size. They go in this slot. How do they get down into their zones, though? It looks like everything is officially separated. Oh, my God. Everything's going too quickly. I don't even know how it works. It did it, though. It did it perfectly. We don't have anything wrong. Look at that. Freaking magical. So a lot of creators focus on realistic crashes. They design cars, you know, it's pretty much BeamNG in 2D, like I said. Uh, so that's really why I wanted to show this game. I know you guys like the crashes and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, we got a Mercedes here, and we're just gonna go for a nice little drive and see how this thing works. I think it actually has an airbag and everything. What did that say? I don't know if I should read those or not. You know what? We're going full throttle right now. I ain't scared. I'm a little scared, but hey, this is in real life, so it's all good. I love that it actually has... Uh, passengers, though. That's something that BeamNG, I mean, there's certain mods that kind of have them. I just lost my hubcap. <laughs> oh, God. Well, there goes my hubcap. Went further than me, goddammit. But yeah, it's really cool that this thing has passengers in it because uh, you can kind of see how a crash would affect an actual, uh, you know, squishy person inside the car. So that was a little bit of a short run. Let's actually try and... Oh, okay, easy now. Slow down a little bit. Well, there goes all my hubcaps this time, and my front bumper is dangling, literally. Uh, so far, so good, though. As long as we got the wheels and engine, that's all we need. And the driver, I guess. Oh, God! Every time, man. Okay, so what, what what am I hitting here? I'm going just way too fast at the end. So we're going to have to slow down at this tunnel if we do want to ma make it to, to the next part of the track. No, no trespassing? Okay, so that's what that says. Well, I'm definitely trespassing, so there we go. We're going to slow down a bit. Go nice and slow here because this is where I killed myself every time so far. Oh, it's still really difficult. There we go. Okay, well, I'm gonna trying to stabilize it in air and it just doesn't work. Is there more to this? I mean, that's basically the end right there, but I, I want to make it to the bottom, damn it. Okay, I don't know if we should go faster. Let's try some speed here, see if we can stabilize it. That's not stabilizing. Okay, well, come on! Just please tell me we still have gas. Okay, uh, back up a bit. Try and... I don't think the engine's working. This guy's not even holding onto the wheel anymore. Clearly, the airbag didn't really work either. You know what? Let's just try and rip this apart and see what we're working with here. So, yeah, you can see quite detailed for a very simple game, obviously. We actually have the engine in there. I thought this thing had an airbag. A lot of them do. I don't think it actually does. All right, you know what? As long as we get the guy... Okay, did I, did I pop his head off? You actually can't break his head off, it looks like. But there we go. That's all I wanted was to get down to the bottom. And I, I had to do it manually, I guess. Okay, this next one is a hill car. Basically, it is uh, totally powerless. So we're basically just watching. <laughs> but I think you can lean just a little bit. So hopefully... Ooh, stabilize it, buddy. I like that he's actually tied in on this one. He's got a seatbelt on. I don't know if you see that. Uh, I think we're going to need more than a seatbelt here. I, I love the slipstream uh, feature, though, of this one. This is really, really cool. So far, so good. We lost a few pieces, but... We didn't lose our head, and that's the important part. Oh, God, we just made that jump. Okay, keep keep going. I think I can break, but that's about it. How far do we got to go here? Oh, God, we're doing a jump. We're doing a jump. That was not a very good jump. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, my God. This never happened. I just lost my head. <laughs> okay. I love this because uh, I actually did look it up. And you can't do anything. You're literally just watching this happen. 
but every time it is just a different reaction. Uh, and that kind of shows you how good the physics are in this, because uh, every time it's slightly different, just due to the movement and everything. Small, minute changes. Oh, see, that's that's where I flipped last time. This time we're good, but I don't know how you're supposed to do the, the, the final jump. I can't really do much. Maybe if I rip some of this stuff off, trying to lighten the load a little bit. All right, come on. Let's just, you know what? We, we, we don't even need that. Oh, God. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay. Well, this might work. I'm going to have to follow it now. Is, is that another head? Do, do you have two? Oh, that must be his body. Okay. I can't believe it. I tried to lighten the load by ripping his head off. That, that totally did it work. No, it didn't work. Still, we didn't make it past the jump. Man, I wanted to see what else there was. Well, just it looks like the ending and that's it. Well, this should be fun. We have just a dummy to do whatever we want with. Does he actually stand? Oh, he's got blood everywhere. Oh, his skin. Everything is so gross. I like that he has a brain as well. Uh, so, yeah, obviously we got to think of our own ways to destroy this guy. Mind you, his legs just got literally ripped off, but... Uh, I think we should be able to do more than that. So I'm gonna, first of all, let's just drop something very large on him. So I'm gonna go for a big old square here. Oh, look at him looking at it. And there we go. There's a few broken ribs, everything. Oh, this is so gross. You can see the skull like bending and flattening. It is a little gross, this game, I, I will be honest. All right, we gotta get better than that, though. I wonder, actually, can we put a square in him? Uh, should we do circle? No, we're gonna do square, so we're gonna try and spawn a square right inside this guy. Did that not work? It's like highlighting it. No, I don't wanna highlight it. I wanna destroy him. All right, we're gonna put a chain right through this poor guy. So yeah, you can spawn in chains. Can we rip him in half? Oh my God. I don't know what it did to the poor guy, but the physics were like, what the hell is going on? All right, I'll just explode the guy. And that's kind of what happened. Uh, we also got some more th fun things to play with. I think I saw thrusters in here. Yes, what else is this? Axle. So yeah, you can do a lot of different stuff in this. Obviously, we want to try the thrusters. Now, the thruster, it uh, its power is decided based on how, how much you pull this. So now I got to get back to my guy. All right, we got a little thruster, and it should... Oh, okay, it's stuck to his hand. It's not thrusting as much as I thought it would. Oh, I wonder if we could give this guy a jetpack. Let's try and send this guy to space. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but hey, we'll find out. The problem is it just goes everywhere. And it just ripped off his head. So I don't I don't think we're going to be able to give this guy a jetpack just because he's too squishy. I'm going to rip you with so many thrusters here, buddy. All right, you know what? We need to make these things a little bit bigger. Okay, that, that was too big. That was too... See, that's a problem. I don't get it. There we go. That, that's a good size. It's about the size of the actual thing. I wonder if it's how zoomed out I am. It is, I think. So if we go real... Yeah. But and then if we go back out... The problem is I can't seem to drag... Oh, there we go. There we go. There, keep, keep it going. Keep it going. So that is should be the most po powerful th thruster on this thing. All right. Here we go. And that's a little bit better. Oh! <laughs> His brain just went out of his head. This might be my favorite one yet. It's just, it's too realistic. All right, and let's end off with some simple motocross. So I played a lot of trials in my life, and uh, I gotta say, man, this feel, the physics feel amazing in this. You actually have to lean to uh, get this thing going, and obviously we can probably hurt ourselves very easily on this. Let's try and do a backflip, maybe. I don't know if we'll get enough speed. Oh my god. That's got a lot of power behind it. But yes, you can lose your bike, as you can see. Let's go back and try one more time. I want to see if we can get to the ending. We also can do a Superman and no-hander in this. So let's see if we can do the Superman. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Hold on. I have to try again here. Superman. Oh, God. Back. Ooh, that was close. And Superman again. I don't know what the, what the no-hander button was. Oh, God. That's not good. So yeah, guys. This was El Gadu. Let me know what you guys think of this game because we're literally just scratching the surface. This is a 10-year-old game and we have a bunch of different things. There's mod support directly in the game. Obviously, there's a bunch of lists we can explore and there's pretty much anything you can think of there's a lot of weapons as you can see vehicles is another very popular thing but I, I gotta say this is really fun it reminds me of a somewhat more realistic happy wheels and yeah if you guys want to play it for yourself as well there'll be a link in the description where you can go to the website it's uh, available for PC and iPad I believe as well as possibly a few other things and the cool thing is 
it's totally free. So yeah, go check it out. Have some fun. If you have any levels to suggest to me, show me them on Twitter or in the comment section of this video. And uh, maybe we'll do another episode checking out this game if you guys are enjoying it. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.